Hi everybody. Today is painting day again. And today we're going to paint um, a resin dog garden statue. I acquired this uh, in my neighbor's yard. It was just uh, in the corner somewhere, all dirty and not used. So I had to wash it down and then I had to repair it. You can see there's like cracks on the ear and on the leg in places. Um, so I had to repair that and then I primed it white. And also too, um, I had to put my German Shepherd down about uh, a week ago. He's about 13 and a half years old. And I think it, I found it, I find it fitting that I should paint uh, this dog to look like a German Shepherd. Even though this is not a German Shepherd, but you could say it's a puppy or it's like a mixed breed. Um, it's going to be like I got a, a German Shepherd that's like black, tan, brown, white. It's going to be hard to combine those and blend those in. I, I never did that before with those particular colors. Uh, black's really hard to bring out. And so is white, when, actually, when you think about it. But uh, So I'm going to have to try to do that here. But first, um, I'm going to show you like uh, how I repaired these cracks first in case you come across some old statues yourselves and there's cracks in that I'm going to show you how you can repair that with epoxy putty okay so we'll do that first start with uh, black first. Now I'm just using, I always just use a craft paint or dollar store paint when I do big miniatures. You usually got to do lots of coats with it, but that's fine. Save a lot of money. So I'm going to start with the black. And mind you, I'm just, uh, you know, it's going to look not as good in the beginning. And especially because I'm experimenting too. So just be patient and it should all come together. So I'm gonna go just do the black first. And I could always go back over it if I got spots that shouldn't be black or whatever. I could go over it with a brown or white. So I'm 
So uh, the nose is black. The eyes are kind of black, but I'm going to make them brown. places unless um unless it's like very light brown or white I'm not gonna hit that with black because then uh, the, the white will be harder to get back over black he's gonna have some white in his chest and he's gonna have like brown eyebrows but I could just add that after Back's gonna be all black. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? Well, I'll try one more part. Turn around. painting too like um, after a while you don't want the paint, uh, paint drying on the brush so I got like a little bucket uh, margarine too uh, soapy water about a drop of dish soap some warm water need some more black This whole back's pretty much black. The thing is, you just don't want, when you're painting, um, like nice professional quality, you're just not going to paint it black. You got to try to bring out the black to make it look like it's, uh, well, each color, not just black, but uh, to make it look three dimensional. So it's, it can't have just black in there. So it might be like a little bit of, depending on what you're doing, some, some black things you could put like a purple, dark purplish or bluish tinge into it to try to bring it out a little bit. In this case, it's probably going to be um, maybe white or some brown just to bring it out. Maybe even add some silver. I'm always pouring way too much paint in my in my uh, out there, and I always waste it because I always pour too much. Now I'm <laughs> pouring it, trying to be conservative, and it's not even nearly as much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the basic areas where I know it's going to be black. Then I'll probably fine detail it in further. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom on out, get to the to where I'm finished the black I'm gonna do, okay? And I could pretty much uh, just fill in the rest of it with tan brown because the white can easily go over that. But I'm just gonna leave some areas, maybe in the chest, that I'll I'll put the white on there. So we'll start with um, mine. It's going to be like a. It's not going to blend in 
too easily right there. Uh, that will come up later. So it'll kind of look a little bit rough. Which I'm just, I don't know if I like that sort of brown. That tan. Actually, they'll darken up. I'm going to throw a wash in there. And that'll kind of darken that up. So. And the dry brushing, when I get to the dry brush stage, it'll, it'll blend those two in nice. Right now, it looks kind of rough. But it'll look better once you get home. It's actually the only brown I got that's this type of brown. I could probably make my own color, but... The only problem with that is that you have to make it the same all the time. Gonna be blended. It's not all gonna be the same sort of brown. It's gonna be white and darker browns here. That's all done. And I'll do his nails too, but I'm just painting right over them right now. Well, it's starting to look more like a shepherd, isn't it? A little bit. We do have a darker brown right here. Just try this. Actually, that might work. Actually, that would probably go like a... See the painting you could always screw around a bit, right? That'll probably go really good with the transition from the, for the years. I just like throw a little bit of that around here. It's fur. I'll do that in the end after I do this. Okay, so 
you get a gist of it. I'll just uh, zoom forward. Okay, I finished the tan and uh, made a little mistake here. I went too too much uh, tan on this side. It should be white here. But that's okay. Um, when I do the white next, um, I will uh, go over that. So you can see it looks pretty good, eh? Mind you, this is just uh, the base coat. So um, I'm going to do the white. And I'm going to uh, do another layer. So it, you just don't want to do uh, one coat. You want to do a few coats. So after I'm done the white, I'm going to do a second coat. And uh, I don't know, just my last video of the, the bunny was a long one. I think it was an hour long or something like that. I'm trying to make it shorter, so I'm trying to just cut out a lot of parts, but maybe I should just like show some like fast action, me painting while going, I'm not sure. Uh, leave a comment, uh, let me know what I could do to improve my videos, what you'd like to see more. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to the white now. Okay, now the way I paint white, I start off with like a medium type gray, medium light gray, something like that. Now I'll work up to white. So what this does is this, um, it creates like a, um, a graduation to white. Instead of just having pure white, which just looks flat and boring, that anybody could just do, this white will just come up. But this will like darken the shadows of white. It's kind of hard to explain. But I'm pretty good actually at painting white. I do a lot of white painting. And for that, you do gray. You start off with a gray, just like this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go over this brown here. Because I wasn't paying attention. Try to get it uh, even there. Basically, um, I don't know, I should add white there, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna just paint the belly white for now. You know, I might add some white on the edges here, but I could just dry brush that in later, so but the main parts that are gonna be solid white are some belly. That's about it. dog is Leo. ashes for my dog. Just sentimental thing, you know. Kind of you you know the dog's not there in the ashes or nothing, but you know, it gives you have a little shrine. So you get makes you think about them whenever you go by or whatever. Because they do, they're like well I don't never have kids so but uh, to me it's like a chill a child. Like my dog, and I, you know, 
would be nice to put this by his um, by his ashes, right? And then I'm going to base coat everything another layer. So put two coats on that. That thickens the paint, you know what I mean? In case you could chip it off. But at the end, we're going to put some uh, coating over top to prevent th from that happening. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to... I got this black wash I made with just uh, black paint, distilled water, and a tiny drop of... Just so you just want to get it the right consistency where it's not like you're painting it. Let's start on the black. Won't be able to tell really on the black. But we'll watch the white the green. So you don't want it to be like paint. You want it to be more like water, but you still want it kind of dark. Just don't worry how dark it's going to get because I'm going to be going over it again with the white. This step is just to uh, uh, create the shadows and the recesses there. Good uh, detail on this model here. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish this all up. Okay, I finished washing it. I kind of I, I gave a, the black actually a brown wash just to change it up a bit, give the shadows a, a brownish kind of tint. And so uh, just uh, when you're washing it, just uh, make sure it doesn't pull anywhere. Smoothing it, smooth it out. The washing it's kind of dark here. The washing actually kind of blends in the color transitions too from the different colors kind of blends them together too. So I'm just going to let that really dry for a while and then to the next stage. Okay, now I'm going to try to highlight the black a bit. Black's very tough to do, so I'm going to... might have to experiment, but the first thing I'm trying is... Um, I don't know if you can see that right here. It's got like a dark gray. And I'm just going to dip the brush in and just dry brush. Most of you know what dry brushing is. The pop. Most of the paint. Just like wipe your finger on it. 
while it's still wet. You can smear it around. I'm just going to go over with just a little bit lighter. Just a little bit lighter. I really want to get most of the thing off. Like this. And I, I'm going to paint the rest of it first and just see how the black looks. You can also give it another wash now, and that will also kind of darken it and blend the different layers together. I'll do the white last because uh, I could use uh, the white highlights I could pretty much use on everything else to give it a, another highlight. Okay, now I'm going to do the brown. I'm just going to use the exact same color I painted the base coat on, which is golden brown. I could be probably fairly generous with this dry brush. There's lots of black to kind of cover up. I'll just finish that up. I'll take some time. Okay, there's the first dry brush layer on the brown. Now I just um, mix some a uh, little bit of white with that. You can tell the difference between the two colors there. I'm gonna go lightly with this. Go on, uh, try and get on the top edges. And I might give it a little bit of white, pure white, but I'll do that after I do the white.
back uh, like before, just the same base color for our brush. dry brush, you can be kind of heavy with it. This is how you bring up what? I'll just finish that up. Okay, now, same color, a little bit more white. See how that comes out pretty nice. Instead of just painting it straight white. Okay, I'll just finish that up. Okay, now you notice I did the eyebrows already. I didn't film that. Same process. Now I'm gonna take the white and I'm gonna go lightly throughout the rest of the model. And just very lightly on just the edges just to bring it out a little bit more very lightly on the black here let's get a little bit more oh, I've got some weight on that uh, Okay, I have to repair those uh, some, a couple times I hit the other colors with my brush, but I could repair it. You can always fix your mistakes. That's what I'll do at the end, just go over, fix everything up. This just gives it a little oomph, bring it out better. After this, just got to do the... nails in the eyes. As there's less paint on the brush you can press harder kind of get a feel for it. And uh, yeah, I did some white there. Oops. Okay I'll just finish that up. Okay, now I guess that's uh, pretty much done for the body and that, just the nails, the eyes, and I might even put some whiskers in, I'm not sure yet, if I could find anything around the house. So it's not too bad, eh? And then once it's complete, I'll just uh, give it a one, one uh, run over, just to make sure I didn't do too much with the white on the black, and maybe a few spots I did. I could just cover it up with some wash or try brush it black to cover that those spots I went too much on. Okay. 
Okay, going over, just taking a look at it. And I'm looking at this black and it's too flat. Way too flat. It's just, uh, it needs, uh, like the black is, it's dollar store black, so it's not the best. Um, so what I'm going to do, is going to break out my good wash, which I just use for miniatures, because the big models, I don't like to use good paints for the big models, because it, it's not worth it. It's better just to use a dollar store paint, which is, is pretty good. Just uh, the black, probably not so. But, uh, so this is a gloss, because I'm thinking, it's a gloss wash. This is really good wash. Like you, the wash that I make myself, just the, the paint and dish soap and that, that's just okay. It works good, but this wash is really good. It's got like an ink in it. Like you could make this yourself, but I don't have the dates or whatever to make it myself. But it's really good. And you'll see. And, I, and I'm, I got both matte and gloss, but I'm thinking the gloss is going to bring it out because, you know, dog have a nice shiny coat. You know? Get some good food. So, it's just way too flat. Look at the difference. Promise I'm going to use a lot of this up just doing this. But it's worth it because this is a nice, uh, beautiful piece here. And I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I was painting this for uh, this nice uh, couple. That I'm, uh, they live in the downstairs part, I live in the upstairs apartment. And they had those just in the backyard all ugly and broken. So I decided to just do a gift for them and paint it, paint it up. Make it look all nice. And uh, during this time while I was painting it, uh, just before I actually started to paint it, my dog passed away. And that's, that was when I was debating, like, what what color should I paint it. I might have said this earlier, but... And then I decided uh, to paint it like my dog, a German Shepherd. Yeah, I did say this earlier, I remember saying it now. But, um... And it was hard, I wanted to keep this dog, actually, but, uh... I was painting it for them, but uh, they knew my dog died. And, that, and they're nice enough. I didn't even ask them for it. They're nice enough just to, uh, they just want to see it. So they're going to give me this. So I could keep it. I got my dog's urn there. And I'll put this right by it. See, that's looking nice, eh? That's perfect. That's what, exactly what I needed. It was a black gloss wash. Exactly what I needed. Especially his nose, because dogs always have like a shiny nose, right? Just a little bit more. There we go, eh? Very nice. 
Okay, I had to highlight the black again. It's kind of like I got lights reflecting off it, so it's kind of making it look like extremely shiny. But it's not that bad if you take it out of the direct lights. I should have diffused lights on here, but I don't have that. But now we're going to do the eyes. And the eyes are more brown. I want to get closer on this. Okay. I'm going to use a cinnamon brown. shepherd eyes. Normally the humans have the white. This would be white. And shepherds do have the white, but it's like sometimes you can't see it. It would be like right inside there. So basically it's brown with the uh, black iris. Okay. Let's do two coats of that. Okay, I'm going to go over it with um, black gloss. again. Same base color. Almost done. Okay, now we just gotta do the pupil all black. Need a larger brush. Wanna get this round. I'm going to start small for now. <clears throat> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
do that and let that dry and I'm going to put some gloss on it again, some gloss wash on it uh, to make it glossy and blend it in a bit. Okay, now before I put that glossy, actually I got to do that. Okay, now a little trick here is some white. You want to get a tiny brush and you just want to <clears throat> put a little dab of white in the center there. It really brings out the eyes. It's kind of like makes it like a sort of like a reflection. See? You got the kind of light, the lights, spotlights are putting a glare on everything, so I don't know. If you can see that in the glare. There you go. And she, he, I think is complete. But I'm gonna, it's late at night now, I want the daylight tomorrow. You can see everything a little bit better in the daylight, so we'll give it a one over tomorrow in the daylight. And then I'll show you some close-ups and uh, take some pictures of it. So, but I'll just uh, give you a look over right now. Yeah, off the tripod. And look, looks pretty good, eh? If you notice, it's, uh, I said I was going to do the nails. The nails look kind of good, the way they were, actually. So all I did was I just tried brushing it. Okay, so next day I bring it outside. You know, I see I was worried it, was, it might have been too glossy, right? Too shiny. But at least it's not in the spotlight, it's just more diffused light right now. So it looks kind of good, actually. Actually, I have, I usually put the matte varnish on these things, but if I do that, it might wreck the gloss. So I want to kind of keep the gloss, actually. Kind of looks kind of neat, eh? So, I'll leave, I got some stills, I guess, so put on after. But that concludes, that concludes our uh, painting German Shepherd Dog video. Okay, so um, that's it for this session. Uh, stay tuned for more painting, building, hiking, whatever. Whatever comes up, uh, stay tuned for more to come. Subscribe and like, and see you next time.